Are you evaluating the top three of every role, like with LS, like you mentioned yesterday? So LS, LS messaged me and was like, hey, can we do top three every role LCK? Because apparently Cloud Templar and stuff did it, and he said that maybe some of their opinions were wrong. I looked at their opinions. Uh, I didn't really disagree with many of them, to be honest. But I'm down for a discussion. They put Faker as number one mid. Well, do you want my honest opinion? I think Faker, this split, this is probably his best individual split since like 2017. No joke. I think he's not been in this good of a form for the last like six years. Pretty immense with Doggo sitting mid. Look like it's it, it, that's a fact. Well. He's playing really well. Come on, cream. I wanna see more like he is, this rise. his lane phase, like Faker's lane phase, got really weak. Um, Faker's lane phase got really weak in 2020, 2019, 2020, and it never got better. But now it's better. I am. And someone in chat's gonna be like, "Lol, Kajal, you're just T1 biased. Shut up." But, dude, just watch the games. Do you think this makes Faker best of all time, regardless of whatever happens in the future, because he invented insane picks in earlier time of his career? No, because the game will change again. But he is the greatest of all time as of now, for sure. And it's, like, impossible to break, but they will probably change the game. They will either release a champion that breaks pro play, or they will change the map or the objectives. Something will change that'll, that'll fuck pro play, and then they'll have to. The game will have to get figured out again.